In this video, I'd like to show you how to configure pagination on the table widget. Right here on the page, we can see a table widget and this table widget is being fed data from my customer's query. Heading over to the query section, let's take a look at my customer query. It's a simple Mongo query that gets a list of 10 customers and we can see that the data is being used on my table widget. In order for us to configure um, pagination, we we'll need to tweak our table a little bit. And for that, let's head over to the table configuration menu where we can turn on and do a few things. So the first step would be for us to enable server-side pagination. This is really important. So I'm just going to turn on this switch. The next would be for us to configure an action to be run whenever the page is changed. We have um, page changing buttons here or page switching buttons here. So we want to be able to run an action whenever a user clicks on the next page. For that, we would select to run our customer query and we need to make a little bit of tweak on our customer query to have everything working nicely together. So let's go back to our customer query. We need to configure our customer query in such a way that it performs a skip whenever a page is changed and that skip will be based on the currently selected page. So for that, we would add a skip property and this skip would be pointing to the current page number on our table. And we're just going to multiply this by our limit, which is 10. So this property we have over here performs a skip based on the currently selected page number from our table widget. So let's run this to make sure that everything works. Yeah, and it runs successfully. So going back to our table, let's test if all of this works. Right now we are on page one. When we switch or change to a new page, we should see our query being run and then our table being updated with a new data. So let's test this out if this works. Yeah, and we can see it works. Our query is um, um, run again and new data is shown on the table. Let's test this one more time. Yes, and we can see this works again. So for us to have this configured, we enabled server-side pagination. We configured an action to be run whenever the page number is changed. And then we updated our query to perform a skip based on the current page number. So this is how you can set up pagination on the table widget. I'll see you in the next video.